Hello fellow FPL managers and welcome to this week's FPL video focusing on game week 18. We'll be looking at my game week 17 predictions, how my team performed, my transfer for this game week as well as the starting lineup for this game week. Finally we'll be looking at who I think will be the best players to avoid, pick and take a risk on for game week 18. As for my game week 17 predictions, it was one out of three this week. Lukaku was again the right player to avoid, where his Manchester United record against top six sides now stands at one goal in 15 games. And this week he picked up a single point as Liverpool were dominating Manchester United at Anfield. Again, Aubameyang let me down as not only my player to pick, but also my very own captain, picking up just two points against a spirited Saints side. And here Here's where I must apologise to FPL managers around the world as this season I honestly think I'm cursed. Players that I've had and sold have done extremely well since leaving my side. In the first few game weeks I had the likes of Sane, Wilson, Salah, Mane, Alexander-Arnold and in later weeks Shakiri all sold and all since have gone on to do wonders. Whereas informed players I've brought in, like Aubameyang or Son or Martial, are either not being played, they get injured, or they're just not earning the points. So I guess my tip here would be to see what big outgoing transfers I make and try to make those players your ingoing transfers. Finally, I took a gamble on thinking Andy Carroll would play and do well against Fulham. I was right about Fulham being overpowered by West Ham. However, Carroll only featured for the last 17 minutes at Craven Cottage. My team this week were back to being bang average and being bumped out of the cup by someone ranked 5.4 millionth overall. I did feel a little bit hard done by this week. I think Robertson had an absolute blinder against Manchester United and he looked dangerous constantly getting down that left side, but he only picked up two points. Watford let in two late goals against Cardiff when they were coasting at 3-0 and Chelsea conceded against Brighton as well. Son and Martial both played only around 15 minutes of football this week and Aubameyang could have scored or assisted a few against Southampton but didn't take his chances. This week's transfer section is a little bit longer than normal because I'm going to be asking for your help. But first of all, this week's transfer itself sees another stepping stone in our building of the squad. Duffy has made way for the now first team playing 3.9 million man at Southampton, Bednarek. So that leaves us with 2.5 million in the bank and my plea for help. Now I've got three ideas what to do with the squad now, but please also leave your comments and suggestions below. So first up, I look to overload the midfield by taking out Son and Martial and replacing them with Salah and Torreira. So that gives me four great scoring midfielders and an informed Torreira. This could also allow me to play a good 4-5-1, 4-4-2 or 3-5-2 formation with the squad being quite balanced but still lacking up front when Rondon faces more difficult fixtures. The second idea would be again to replace Son with Torreira but have Firmino up front in place of Rondon as our Liverpool attacker and Salah in midfield as our City attacker. This would allow a strong 3-5-2 or 4-4-2 formation and gives us a City and Liverpool attacking player. It's always great to have a City and Liverpool attacking player in your FPL side, but any outfield City player in my side always makes me feel anxious due to Pep Bingo. Finally, idea number three sees us take out an expensive defender with Alonso making way for someone like David Luiz, Sun swapping with Mane and Martial with Sane or even Kevin De Bruyne. This keeps the defence quite strong and it really beefs up that midfield. However, again, we would be lacking a little bit up front once Newcastle start facing tough opposition. So here we might be looking at a 4-5-1. If you like any of these ideas or you have your own, then please let me know in the comments below. The starting 11 for this game week remains exactly the same with Foster in goal and travelling to West Ham in the hopes of turning around Watford's away form. The back three sees Trippier off to Everton, Robertson at Wolves, and Alonso at home to Leicester City. The midfielder has Richarlison and Son facing off at Goodison Park. Martial hopefully will be back in that starting lineup as United head to Cardiff. Philippe Anderson faces Foster and Watford at home, whilst Hazard is a doubt for that home tie against Leicester City. So up top again sees Aubameyang keep their armband at home to struggling Burnley, whilst Rondon will be looking to keep up his good FPL form at home to the leakiest defence, Fulham. On the bench has Kamara as our first choice, then new man Bednarak away at Huddersfield and Wambasaka is in last place as Palace head to the champions Manchester City. 
Now let's take a look towards the predictions for game week 18 and let's see who to avoid, pick and take a risk on. So for my play to avoid, I'm going to say Aubameyang. Call it stubbornness, but like I said before, my luck of transferring informed players into my side has been poor and I think a team like Burnley can always upset Arsenal. There was a funny meme about not backing the early kickoff as well and Arsenal this week will be the early kickoff. However, Salah smashed that when he bagged a hat-trick against Bournemouth. But Burnley will have taken some confidence from that late defeat against Spurs, whereas Arsenal let slip against the Saints. And with injury troubles at the back, I think Burnley could take advantage of that and could head to the Emirates and nick a result whilst leaving the likes of Aubameyang frustrated. For my own FPL sake, I hope not, but even if I compare the other top players and the other top teams fixtures this week i feel as though arsenal will have a tougher time than liverpool city spurs chelsea and united my player pick of the week this week is inform raheem sterling many fpl managers would have had their heads in their hands seeing him on that bench against everton in the previous weekend however he still came on and scored in only 24 minutes it was his first touch that he actually scored with in game week 17. of course the issue here is Will he play due to the heavy fixture period that we have around Christmas time? But with Pep, it's impossible to say. Either way, I'm backing Sterling to play this week and do well against Palace, who rarely fare well on the road. The player to take a risk on for me this week has got to be Rondon. People question me when I brought him in for 5.7 million in game week 13. However, in the last three weeks, he scored nine points, five points and seven points respectively. And I would certainly back the big Venezuelan at home against Fulham, who are the top tier's weakest defence by a country mile. That's it for the look at game week 18. I hope you enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below your suggestions for my FPL side and the transfers that I should make. So thanks again and as always, good luck and have a good one.